here's my favorite way of seeing what it looks like to divide one fraction by another. So if you start off with something like 2 thirds divided by 1 half. What I want to do is draw a picture of that so I can see what's going on. Now what this means is, what this means, what this is asking me, it's asking me how many one-halves fit into two-thirds. And what these are also referring to is two-thirds of a whole and one-half of a whole. So how many one-halves of a whole fit into two-thirds of a whole? So here's my square, which I like to um, think of as the whole thing. And I'll divide that into two thirds, into two thirds, and then find what two thirds is. So that's three parts, and this is two thirds. So to keep myself reminded of everything. There's my two thirds. Okay. Now I want to find how many one halves fit in two thirds. So I'm going to look at one half. And I'm going to, whereas I made columns here, I'm going to make my one half into rows. That way I can see how one overlays on top of the other. So here, this after I've drawn a horizontal line, there's the lower part of this is one half. So I'm going to color that in. So... I don't get confused. So the unit, the way I've now overlaid the two thirds on top of the one half inside of the whole is created a grid of six different pieces and the one half uses up one, two, three of those pieces and that's important. That number is going to be important. Uses up three, the three of those pieces. Uh, now I want to see how many of these one halves fit into the two thirds? So there's one, two, three pieces, and how many of these three pieces fit into the two thirds? Well, one, two, three. Okay, so that, that fits in one time, but now there's one left over. There's one of three left over. So two thirds divided by one half equals one and one third. Okay? Uh, the only other thing I want to mention right now is that when kids get to about seventh grade, they'll see this same equation or the same quantity written this way, which for some reason looks a lot scarier than this. But it's just good to know that that's this and this are the same, asking the same question. Okay, I'm going to do one more because these are so much fun to do. So, let's see what three-fifths divided by two-thirds looks like. Okay, so this is asking how many two-thirds fit into three-fifths. I'll start with my whole thing again, my whole square and do fifths. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And three of these, three of these look like that. So now I'm going to divide my square up into thirds. So this is, these, these are columns. I'm going to uh, divide it into uh, rows. There we go. So this is two thirds. No, this is three thirds, and two thirds looks like this. Two of those rows. Okay, now we have a common way to look at both of them. The two thirds is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these units. So how many tens, how many 
of these ten, how many groups of ten of these units will fit into three fifths? So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's not even a full ten. It's 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 not even a full amount. It's only nine of the ten. Nine of the ten. So two thirds, three fifths divided by two thirds equals nine tenths. Okay. Try a few of these. They're fun. The thing to remember is how many units the part that's being that the divisor has how many units does that take up of the whole in this case it's 10 in this case it was 3 because if you have a remainder unit it's going to be in this case one of the three units in this case they were all remainders um, nine of the ten units. Okay?